it's uh, day one and we're um, almost at Horse Camp Hut. We've just done uh, a ski down there. I'm just waiting for Louise. And, uh, here we are. So Louise is just crossing the creek now. weird like it's just rained recently and it's uh, kind of like flag so it kind of sticks to the bottom of your skis and then uh, when you're skiing down the hill you can feel a little air pockets collapsing as you're skiing down so it's a continuous little, little micro we made it to um, White River Hut Today, it started to cool down a fair bit. The uh, stay was a bit tricky for us in that it was kind of um, sticky, but I think in a lot of ways that kind of helped us uh, getting up the hills. Uh, quite conveniently, the creeks that um, you have to cross to get on the horse, the same creek you've got to cross it twice, seems to be bridged a bit. Uh, I can't see the bridge because it's covered in snow, but certainly it's a lot more convenient than uh, last time we were here when it was not bridged. So, well it's uh, day two and we're just at um, Sling Pass. We've just come up from uh, White River Hut and uh, we're about to cross over, well, over to the Kerries and then we'll um, follow the river down, ridge slash river, sort of halfway between maybe, to uh, Mawson's Hut is the plan. So it's about eight or nine k's from here, I guess. Uh, maybe a bit more by the time we zig and zag. Well, you couldn't ask for a, uh, a better day to do this. It's blue sky, no wind, and not particularly hot or cold. It's probably just right, really. I guess it's probably know, about eight degrees. I feel pretty warm at the moment, obviously, because I've just walked up a big hill that Louise is just uh, taking on now. So we're not quite at the top, uh, we've got a little bit to go. Um, you can see the, uh, that's the carries there, we're going to get over the top of that. Fortunately, if we traverse around here we should find the pass. Uh, so we don't have to like go down and up, so that should be fine. Hey. So we're on uh, the Kangarten Pass, which is sort of just on the left. Uh, we've had a bit of a rough climb into the pass, a lot of bikes. You can probably hear the ice underneath me, but it's a lot worse. Uh, Pretty slow, so we decided to uh, head towards Tin Hut instead of Mawson's, which is a lot closer. And uh, besides that, we did come off Gun Garden Pass and went straight down the wrong way. Well, not straight down, but we sort of took a slight turn. That meant we weren't going uh, in a direct line to Mawson's, so we've also had a lot of problems with ice. Ice has been pretty hard today to, to ski on, so uh, even on this side of Gun Garden Pass. But, um, we're not too far from Tin Hut, we know it's over here somewhere. We just haven't exactly found it yet in the trees. And we're just below this large um, tortoise. Which I don't think it's going anywhere soon, but I certainly wouldn't set up a candy. Now Tin Hut is somewhere over there. How are you going Louise? Yeah, we'll keep moving. So, uh, we finally made it to Tin Hut. Here we are. How was that, Louise? A bit of hard work? Oh, we made it. Beautiful scenery. Yeah, oh, yeah, the scenery's been full. Yeah, we can do whatever else. Uh, for these challenges of today, nothing takes away from the, uh, the scenery. It's just been amazing. And we're 
real pleasure to be out here to be honest, even on this challenge, so yeah. We did it right in the end, we kept it together, even though we went to the end of the way. We uh, re evaluated our plan and went for plan A. What is it, day three? Day three. day three, we're inside Tin Hut. We're just about to leave from Tin Hut to uh, Orson's. Uh, feeling okay in that, um, you know, we've left the hut in a good state. Probably left more wood here than what we started with. We gave it a good clean. Uh, the weather outside's fairly uninviting, but uh, nothing I don't think we can't deal with. Just have a look outside. Just a bit of wind. In fact, it's dropping. It's dropped a little bit now. We'll have a headwind for most of today, unfortunately, but um, still got plenty of visibility. The cloud's still high enough for us to see what's going on. So, all in all, I think we'll be okay. See the rain behind us. Yeah. Well, that's winter, isn't it? So, we're about uh, halfway to Morrison, it's about another two and a half k's to go. The uh, conditions have been pretty good, bit of ice, but it's been flat enough to deal with. How you going, Louise? Good. <laughs> Great. And uh, Mawson's just through there, and uh, on my right shoulder somewhere is Tin Hut, which you won't be able to see. Good day. Good day. It's mostly a good day. We've had. Uh, Yeah, okay, I think the GoPro's a bit cold, so it's doing some wacky stuff, hopefully you're filming there. So day four, I know it's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, she's snowing pretty steadily, and it's just not clearing up. The visibility's sort of coming and going. Uh, so we're not going to attempt uh, to jungle this year, it's just too bad. Even if we did find to jungle, which I'm not saying we will, uh, we wouldn't see anything from the top anyway, so it's just going to be snow. So we're going to head back to Mawson's. Uh, have something warm, dry off, and uh, have a look at what happens this afternoon. Maybe it'll clear up this afternoon, we'll go for a bit of a tour. What do you reckon, Louise? Disappointing, Dis but I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, uh, you've heard the expression, tomorrow is another day. And uh, here we are, day five, and uh, it's such a different day to yesterday. You can see Louise down there waving. Oh, I'm actually on the peak, on the summit of Mount Jungle after a, uh, well, we woke up to a spectacular day as you can see. And it was just, it was just too perfect uh, not to give it a go. And I was really happy that I was uh, able to convince Louise to give it a crack. Uh, it's been a hard day for her and for me. Uh, Louise is a bit tuckered out, so she hasn't quite made the last uh, little bit because it is pretty steep. But uh, she's done such a great job to get here. So, and this is a reward. Holy friggin' dooly, eh? Wow. I mean, last time I was here it was spectacular, but then it was April and there was no snow. And now, and now it's 1st of August, I think, 1st or 2nd, 1st of August. And now look at the place, look at all that snow in the Jujunga wilderness. I'm just uh, so chuffed, absolutely chuffed to be up here. Oh yeah. Wow, it must pan around this way. Somewhere out there is Bimberry Peak, because I can see this from Bimberry Peak. I don't know where it is, but it's out there somewhere. hut we about eight k's eight k's over that way so we've done a big day so far we're halfway but thankfully there's a lot of it that's uh downhill so i think we're both looking forward to that okay and now uh back down with louise just off the summit how are you feeling good i'm you, really glad you got there yeah are you feeling a bit better now yeah not so grumpy <laughs> not so grumpy you're a bit less tuckered out it was a bit of a hard slug, wasn't it? Mm, hard. How hard was it? it was compared hard. to Kokoda? Um, I don't know, Kokoda was I don't know, 15 years ago, so I don't really know. <laughs> We're at South West Track, South Coast Track. Hard for different reasons. Hard for different reasons, yeah. 
And there's uh, the summit just behind us. There you go. Still great views from up here too. I think that's uh, Main Range and um, Kosciuszko over there. Yeah. On this beautiful pristine slope that we're going to go down. Yeah, that's right. Just skiing towards uh, Morrison's now. Just thought to get a shot of uh, the jungle just in case the cloud takes it. There's a little bit of cloud coming in now. So. Yeah, we can, well, we can, I can see it anyway. I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up, but you can see where we've come down on the skis on our downhill run. And uh, we're on our way. It's another view of uh, the mighty jungle. Bit out of breath. Just came up a hill. Well, he's just followed me up. You can see our tracks we took on the way. This is where we're just um, crossing over from where we uh, came over. And we tried to go right. We've come straight down over the uh, creek there and then just straight up this uh, gully back on our normal track so not far working out really well it was all like this <laughs> nice snow easy to ski on uh, well today has been okay. but we've had our share of uh, Nasty, nasty ice. It's steep, steep and icy. Not good. Not good for us at all. Anyway, I'm going to need two poles. How are you feeling? Bucket. How bucket are you? Really bucket. Scale of one to ten. 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 <sighs> we I love you, Mawson. There is just a. Yeah, we're uh, only a stone's throw from Mawson's hut, and we've had a big. 20 plus K day, I would probably even... Uh, I don't think it's that much, is it? Yeah, well it's 8 K's straight line, and we did not go straight line. Without traversing, I think there's 20 K's there. <sighs> we'll double check, don't quote me on that. Well it's uh, day 6, and we're just coming out of the... Uh, Valentine River, uh, heading south towards um, Schlink and possibly White's River Hut. We'll yeah, see how White we go. River. The plan today was to go from Mawson's to uh, to Valentine, but we kind of got there and felt pretty good, so we thought we might get the Schlink today. And we know there is a little bit of weather on its way, so it'd be good to be at Schlink when that hits. Uh, nice and warm and easy to get out. So. And how are you going, Louise? After your big day yesterday. Great, I'm really sore. It's another beautiful day. <laughs> it is another great day. I didn't think we'd get two days like this in a row, but we have. The snow isn't quite as good, but uh, if I was to be picky, but still, um, I've only fallen down once, so that's been good. Louise, I think, has fallen down once. Yep, once. Once, so that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. And being um, morning, the uh, western slopes are uh, a bit icy, icier than what we would like. Not that icy, but you know, enough to upset us. But certainly on the uh, the eastern faces, uh, nice snow for us to ski on. So yeah, just having a little break and then we'll head off to Schlink. No reason. Don't you be prepared to drop it? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Don't run into me. Did you go down fast? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. You got it, you got it! Yes! <laughs> now, uh, oh, oh. You okay? What'd you do to your knee? Oh. Let's see how Louise is going. We just got to the Slink Hilton from uh, Mawson's hut. How are you feeling? Pretty buggered. <laughs> I'm going to White's River. Yep. This is our lunch stop. This is our lunch stop, yep. Go away. Having a little rest. Yep. That's I didn't a... sleep well last night. It was really cold. 
That's the look, all right. That's the look of a tired skier. <laughs> Water bottles were frozen this morning. I didn't sleep well. <laughs> So it's our last day and we're just heading down to Watts River we're on uh, Schlink Pass Road. Come all the way down the valley. And now we've got to go up towards Horse okay. Camp Hut Turnoff. A little bit of a walk, but I think there's snow after the turnoff. Well top of the hill there'll be snow. How are you feeling? Are you happy to going home? Be going home. <laughs> Louise has just found the edge of the snow. This is where it stops, I think. Suddenly. Suddenly. <laughs> you really? <laughs> okay, yep. come on, just tell me. What happened first? Tell me what happened. <laughs> I didn't stop in time, and the ski stopped very abruptly, and I kept going. Yeah. It'll... <laughs> I can't reach them. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll just put my shit down. Nailed it. Yeah, nailed it on the exit. <laughs> uh, definitely washed it all over the place.